All right, the CDC says 71 million Americans, just over a quarter of the adult population, have received now at least one dose of a vaccine. Nearly one in 10 um, adults now fully vaccinated. So experts, you know, that's exciting. But then there's like the worry side of it because you're seeing, you know, these people out there enjoying themselves without masks. And we heard the CDC director speak about this yesterday. Let's listen in for a moment. We have seen footage of people enjoying spring break festivities maskless. This is all in the context of still 50,000 cases per day. I'm pleading with you for the sake of our nation's health. These should be warning signs for all of us. Cases climbed last spring, they climbed again in the summer. They will climb now if we stop taking precautions when we continue to get more and more people vaccinated. All right, so we're hearing uh, there from that, that COVID briefing yesterday. And, um, you know, we actually hear it echoed in some of the comments that we're seeing coming in on our Facebook pages now that are we, uh, you know, at this, this turning point in the pandemic, Dr. McGinn? Yeah, I mean, we're so close. As you mentioned, the number of people vaccinated, we're about to look at getting children vaccinated. And I think the timing of spring break may, may have come at a bad time. I think we're all eager to get outside, the sun, the spring, a sense of freedom. You know, I think that it was hard for people to pull back, but this is the moment. We have about three months that we need to, to hold on. All right, in that same briefing, we heard them give an update on the virus variant, and uh, especially crucial now is that UK variant, you know, B117, uh, first identified overseas, and they're projecting this to become the dominant variant here in the US by the end of this month or early April. So how concerned should we be uh, when you look at the data, you know, associated with this variant? So yeah, it is concerning. It does have a slightly increased mortality. It has a higher infectivity rate. In other words, it, it moves quicker. That's why the vaccination process has to really pick up because across the board, the more we vaccinate, the lower the transmission of the virus, the lower the transmission of the virus, the less likely we're gonna get variants. Uh, so I, I, I think we're at a little bit of a race here to get vaccinated. So everyone has to, we're gonna hit a point hit a point now where people need to we need to reach out to people to get vaccinated the lines are going to slowly go away and then it's going to be oh hey we got to get people in now how do we convince them to get vaccinated right because now people are able to get their you know schedule their shots at say a, a cvs or a walgreens and there's also more options out there if you have become vaccinated which you would think would entice more people to want to do it yeah, I mean, I think what the CDC has very subtly done is started to say, hey, if you're vaccinated and your family is vaccinated, you can meet in a space. So that's encouraging people to get vaccinated. We see this going on, you and I were discussing earlier in Israel, mm -hmm. they're starting to have a green pass. That means I can go out, I have a little pass on my phone, I can do X, Y, and Z. And if you don't have the vaccine, you can't do those things. So we need to, we're gonna go from a long line problem to a encouragement problem where we have to encourage people to get over this finish line.